Well guys finally Intel Arc A380 benchmarks are finally out and well can it even beat GTX 1650 and RX 6400 now last week Intel launched Arc A380 in China and today several Chinese sites published their independent third party reviews and finally we got some numbers to crunch onto one of the source have used relatively modest test hardware and they have used Arc A380 and installed it onto Windows 11 PC paired up with Core Intel i5-12400 and they have installed 16 gigs of RAM with 1 terabytes of SSD with the Asus B660M motherboard. Now this one sounds like the modest setup. Now Intel hope was it will fit against the GTX 1650 and RX 6500 XT and also RTX 3050. But actually taking a look at the results uh, I was totally blown away. So in the 6 game tested at 1080p here you can see this is the test result so for the league of legends you can see the arc a380 is scoring 78 percent while the gtx 1650 is scoring 100 percent rx 6400 is 105 percent in the shadow of the tomb raider the arc a380 performs slightly better but not by much overall the intel arc a380 was consistently the poorest performer in the dx11 games also dx12 games now here in the test results you can clearly see it's not even beating out the year old card gtx 1650 arc a380 scoring just 59 fps while the gtx 1650 is reaching 66.75 while RX 6400, 6500 XT and RTX 3050 are way ahead. And taking a look at the different implementation of each GPU, here you can see ARC A380 uses 124 graphic cores while RX 6400 has 768 and 1650 has 896. Although the ARC A380 has the best memory bandwidth amongst the, all the GPUs, uh, the TDP of the ARC A380 is 75 watt it is pretty comparable to gtx 1650 and it's got av1 s264 and s265 in china arc a380 is selling for 135 dollars and taking a look at the internals of arc a380 here you can see we got two vrms and we got the power delivery port right over here and this is the main chipset and here we also got the four ports and it's got that gddr6 6 gigabytes of graphic card memory it runs 96 bit bus and the card has a 2.45 gigabytes of boost clock and the memory speed is around 15.5 gigabytes per second apart from the benchmarks well sure intel arc 380 has some cool tricks up its sleeve and it's got that hardware assisted ai upsampling called xcss av1 encoding decoding and namely better content creation capabilities but at the end of the day it's a gaming graphic card that fails to deliver any decent numbers in terms of benchmarks in the 3d mark fast strike a380 is scoring double one double zero five but sadly it doesn't even beat out the rtx 3050 and it's just slightly ahead than the 1650 in the 3d mark time spy it manages to pull ahead by a quite a lot but still in pretty much all the tests rtx 3050 wins all the time in the 3d mark port royal a380 is scoring just 947 whereas the rtx 3050 is 3534 <laughs> while you can ignore the results of 1650 and rx 6400 we got approximately 100 watt tgp for arc a380 <laughs> well after checking out the benchmarks i was quite a bit disappointed with arc a380 well guys what do you think about it honestly it doesn't properly beat out even the gtx 1650 but nevertheless we got an interesting option in the range of budget gpus so what do you think about arc a380 do let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys signing out